Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Power Toys has a utility called Command Palette. And Command Palette, as you may well know, if you've been viewing this channel for some time, if you are using Power Toys, using Windows key, alt and space when it's enabled is basically a souped up desktop search that lets you search through apps. You can run commands and so on, just to mention a couple of uh, examples. And in regards to Command Palette, in an upcoming release, apparently according to a recent announcement from Microsoft, Microsoft is planning some changes for uh, the app in regards to Command Palette, where key changes include support for theming and using custom backgrounds in Command Palette. Now, according to Microsoft, the changes are due to be introduced in PowerToys version 0.97. Currently, we are sitting on version 0.96.1, although Microsoft hasn't given us an exact date and time. But this announcement comes through the development teams over on X who have shared the changes and the cosmetic treatment that Command Palette is going to get in the next version upgrade. So basically, Microsoft's going to be making the Command Palette a lot more customizable. Now, from Microsoft's announcement, according to a pull request over on GitHub, and these are just images from that announcement, Microsoft has said that it's working on a new personalization page for Command Palette settings, where you'll be able to adjust the launcher's look. So you've got a couple of options here when it comes to personalization and theming. You'll be able to change the background image, brightness, blur, background image fit, color tint, color intensity, and even restore the defaults. And once you've adjusted your different um, personalization settings, Here's just a couple of examples of some of those changes that can be made and will be made to Command Palette if you do decide to use the option. So you've got a couple of different theming options and color options and transparency options. So if you are using Command Palette, then this could be a nice move in the right direction, especially to color and theme it according to your OS's color and theme, which may be a nice move. And as mentioned, this change, according to the developer team over on X, these new personalization options are expected to come to Command Palette in version 0.97. And when that happens, obviously, I'll try and keep you in the loop if you are using Power Toys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.